is desperate to stop her, even attacking Conan Barrett's faith and family. Hey everybody. Trying to get everything situated, make sure the camera's set up right. Make sure I got a microphone. Yeah, I think we're good. Make sure I get a sound check. Sorry about the lighting. It's uh, one thing I didn't think about is probably getting some better lighting in here. But it's time for a stream. It's time for a feast. And I've been uh, going clean for keto for about 45 days. And I'm extremely excited to eat some MREs, rations, all kinds of stuff. And Smitty, I've seen your comment. I may end up eating all this or trying. So I see you saw, hey, you saw the crack, hey, Smitty, hey, Karen. What's up, Gunner? Uh, what's up, Ruby? What's up, Boondocking with Dennis? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Alita. Yes, Minnie, I might, I, 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 I won't be eating all these rations, but I'll be eating a lot of stuff because when I start eating, sometimes it's hard for me to stop. Um, what's up, Brian? Welcome to live stream. DB Doors, DB Outdoors, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Jeremiah? I'm just welcome everybody in and then now uh, start smashing some food. Hey, what's up, John Frank, Anthony? Yeah, once once I get going on a cheat day, it's it's really difficult to stop, and and I have to put a barrier in there because I'll like end up just wishing I would have stopped a long time ago, and that's that's the killer part. And I'm just like, I should stop now. I should stop now. And then I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but there's a particular taste that I have to have. And, and brushing my teeth was the answer to this. But I would try to find that uh, satisfying taste. Like I'd try, you know, peanut butter with chocolate or a key element. And what I end up doing is I, if I get to that moment where I couldn't satisfy that, satisfy that taste, I'd actually just brush my teeth and it wiped that uh, craving away. It's a good little trick. And I don't know if anybody's seen the shirt, but um, it's true. Gotta love the penguins. All right, uh, looks like we got about 22 people in the chat. So I'm going to get started with some of the cool items I got. I'm not going to be eating that, and I'll announce the winner in a second. But, I mean, I got some cool stuff that uh, may need some help kind of knowing what it is. Maybe Smitty. But I think this is from an iron ration. Uh, German, I believe I got it from Shocker 71. I don't know if you can see it a little closer, but it's from 1988. Hey, what's up, next fan? What's up, Antoine? Welcome, welcome. We're getting ready to smash some MRAs, but we got some cool history stuff. Uh, I'm just getting into the history portion of it and trying to learn more about it. Hey, what's up, Jordan? What's up, Lebanese Gamer Pro? Um, and then this is another item that, I don't know, I guess there's actually cigarettes in this. I got this one uh, from Trading with Sal Salty Crack. And they're just trying to learn all the contents. I might open that up. Hey, Marilyn. So, yeah, it's just some cool items that I'm, I'm going to try and start a collecting case and a display and put some of these items up because, you know, these items are going to be compromised to the point of not wanting to eat them. But I'm really interested in learning about the history. Hey, Dino, what's up? Welcome live stream. And then I just want to compare some of these. Um, this is a French ration. I believe this is an RCIR from 1989. And look at the size comparison if you take these two. Because this one's actually from, this one's a fresh one I got from Jack of Trades. Um, you know, it's got expiration of June 7th, 2021. And this is the 89. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. 
and I'm really interested to see what this is. Uh, we might be doing a collab between Readiness Reviews, BT Temple, and we have like, I believe they have, a, somebody's got a 92, BT might have a, a 94, and we got 89, kind of understanding what um, components are in there because it's a really cool thing about rations is every year they change up the components. I've noticed that in American MREs when I get in there and explore like 2005s, 2008s. Like one time I found a 2008, I believe, it had chocolate covered coffee beans. Now, I don't know why that's not still in there, because that was awesome, because that's like getting caffeine on the go. Yeah, this 89, I'm going to, it, it's pretty mint. As you can see, that it's no leaks, no bloating. And it, I mean, I'll find out if it smells once I open the package, but the package is intact. I'm going to try and eat as much as a, of this as I can while I explore it. So that, that should be pretty interesting. And like I said, this is not something I'd want to eat. But this is a really cool thing. I believe it's a, from an iron ration. And this, eventually, like I said, I want to open this and kind of explore that. But I don't think there's food in it necessarily. How's the signal, everybody? Is the signal okay? Is it choppy? I'm trying to kind of get this fine-tuned. Hey, Sunshine. Welcome to the uh, live stream. Oh, caramels. I'm sorry, Salty. Caramels. Yeah, if you guys have any problems with live stream, it's choppy, you can't hear me or see, just let me know. Uh, I'll say this is my third live stream, so I'm trying to figure out the uh, quirks with it. So that's some of the older items I thought was really cool. And uh, I'll, I'll plan on reviewing those. But uh, some other cool items, actually. So a lot of people... I personally getting to know me as far as you know no, liking old stuff food and like survival elements somebody was moving and they actually found some of these in one of the boxes and with with that they also found compressed napkins and i don't know if anybody's seen these but these this is a compressed napkin um mega size from like a imp so i'll be popping that open today kind of explore it didn't really focus but it's a compressed towel and I want to try, I got a couple more of these, and as well as I got, uh, I think, four or five Mountain House meals from 2012, 2014. So not really vintage, but still pretty cool. But I want to try these. These are actually, these, they're called Magic Cook. I don't know, they might be still around, but I've never seen them before. And I popped one open, and these are like little FRA cheaters. So if you need to replace the bag, I'll, put, I'll be using one tonight to try and warm up some of the meals or something else as a like a side. And then I have some Canadian FRHs and some other ones. You know, I got a lot of FRHs because I'm going to be eating a lot of food. So got that. Got the FRHs. Compressed towel will show that. And this is a sneak peek this weekend from Survival Saturday. I don't know if anybody's seen this, but uh, pretty awesome, pretty stacked. Some of the items on there. Really cool accessory kits in that one. So that's, uh, if you want to see that, it's on Survival Saturday. Uh, where I also, we'll see, you have to see if I uh, get the shelter done. Now he's got to represent Inky Snoop. Said I got this axe. I took it with the shelter on last time I went, and I'll be taking out every time. All right. So I think it's time to discuss the winner. Now I don't. I'm pretty sure you guys can see the community tab, and I am extremely surprised. And I'm not surprised because IMPs aren't good. I'm surprised because there was a brown bag up, and usually people want to see the brown bag. But that's okay, because I actually have a brown bag that I'm going to be eating as well. And this is actually from Chris Reedy. Um, he sent this to me, and there's I believe there's a cake in here that uh, he wanted me to try out. So I'll definitely be busting this one open as well. But the winner was actually turkey strips with orange sauce. Now, like I said, I'm not surprised that this is a winner because I know IMPs are pretty good. This is 2019. I got a 2005. I got a 2008 and I believe a 94 or 92. And I believe this one's a 92 
Oh, thanks, Boondocking. Thanks, Boondocking with Dennis. You guys, if you have not seen Boondocking with Dennis's channel, he has an awesome channel. I do have some questions for you, uh, Dennis, because I might go on an adventure that will require some boondocking. And I've been learning from your channel. And uh, I, want, I, I just got a couple spots I got to go. And I don't really want a hotel room. And I got uh, like a truck like you that I could use. So I'll, I'll be catching up with you later. So... We got this brown bag we're going to be busting open. This is the winner again, like I said, the turkey strips with orange sauce. We'll be busting that in just a second. I thought this was pretty cool. This is actually a 2012, and it's a veal cutlet with lemon sauce. So I plan on checking that out. Um, hoping that's from something else and not from the inside. But we'll find out. But uh, lemon sauce, I don't know if you guys are, like lemon sauce, but that sounds pretty good. I got orange sauce. And lemon sauce. Thank you very much, Rachel. Uh, Sunshine Side of Life. That's really awesome. I really enjoyed your stream with the dual pizza. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully, uh, you guys get to do one again soon. But that was uh, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, IMPs are definitely good. So that is the winner. Well, keep in mind, anybody that voted for the Menu 23 Chicken with Cavatelli, that is going to be um, reviewed as well. I'm going to review these just to give everybody a chance. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Your stream was awesome. Um, hopefully, you're feeling better. I know that, that, that was a great stream. I'm hoping you guys do it again. That was, yeah. I mean, I didn't. it didn't seem laggy to me. It was pretty enjoyable. Now we got another one. This is the Menu 15 Beef Enchilada. It did not make the cut. These actually were voted the lowest. And this one's uh, 2008. Again, I plan on reviewing this in a video out in the woods. Uh, Gunner, you're going to love that 5A and 5B. I have it up there in the wall of MREs. And uh, I love cold weather rations. And them RCWs are just amazing. The strawberries and cream is better than any other oatmeal I've had, especially take the blue bar. Now the fig bars, you gotta have the fig bars, and they gotta be 15 years old. I'm thinking about sealing some fig bars up and some toaster pastries for like 15 years and then eating them later because that's the only way I like them now. All right, so here's another brown bag that actually was second place. This is the chicken and rice, I believe a 94. And uh, it just, you know, this one's pretty awesome. I think it's got the freeze-dried fruit in it, so I'm really excited to check this out, and I will be reviewing this. I don't know if they're here, but there was a person that actually suggested how tough are MREs. So I do plan on um, testing one as far as, like, doing drop tests, water tests, and beating it up like it's out, actually out in the field and then reviewing it. So I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, putting in a backpack and rolling around and doing some weight tests, drop tests, like, actually – seeing how they hold up. I know AmeriCall sucks for packaging when you do open them, but I think that they would be very, you know, that'd be probably one of the better suited MREs for beating up because of that additional packaging holding everything together. And like I said, all, although it's annoying, I bet after a hard day of smashing it around, I probably last the longest. The, the fruit bars and the fig bars. So you got the blue, I think mine was the blueberry bar. And it was like, it's scary because it looks bad, but I've never really had a bad old fig bar or fruit bar. Now, you always got to be cautious. If you get the numbness and all that stuff, you got to be careful. But I'm telling you, the enhance, the older they get, the better they taste. Hey, Devin, Brazer, how's it going? I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a great day as well. Hey, Vivo, how are you doing? All right, uh, so this is the winner. We'll be busting this open. I got compressed towel in, and I got another brown bag to be opening. Now, Traversing Food actually sent uh, a bunch of stuff my way. I can try this out. I'll be eating probably some sticky toffee pudding for dessert. I got the best dessert, um, saving for last. Now, if you guys haven't had an Ann and Allen, uh, com, go to www.annandallen.com for a gooey butter cake. I ordered three of them recently. I got the double chocolate. Banana split and strawberry. I'll be eating those for dessert. If you haven't had one, you got to check it out. The link is down in the description. Wow. 
That's all I can say. But that's going to be dessert. Like I said, this is going to be a feast. But I got some biltong neck and eat, a sticky uh, toffee pudding. Shocker, I don't know if anybody's had this before. Shocker 71 says it's one of the better drinks. I believe it's German. Um, exotic. Never had it before. I want to have that. Um, Adam, one of my uh, friends in the MRA community, he uh, suggested a recipe that I really enjoy. This is the spicy peanut butter. I'll be making that up. Like I said, when I get in the MRA feast, this is what I do on my cheat day. I get everything I love, combine it, and just go to town and get that craving monster under control so I can go back the next day and I'm good. Well, so I got a collaboration of things that I've traded with people, and uh, that's what I do is usually enjoy it. But why not enjoy it with everybody else? So this is from Rare Old Times. I believe this is Malaysian, and it's chicken stir-fry, I believe, or stir-fried rice. So I'm excited to try that. Now, I don't know if anybody knows what these drinks are, but I got, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing them right, but a vitriol, a mensis, and a minkle. Which one do you guys think I should drink? We got the Viterol, the Mensis, and the Minkle. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but they're actually, um, this one's hot water. This one's cold water, the Viterol, and Mensis. They're, they're no really label. I tried to translate them, and there's nothing that really comes up on it, but it's part of this meal. And I'll be making that up. But this meal actually comes like this in a case. And you pop it open. And there's the main. And then there's some rice. And it kind of goes in there. And you're supposed to eat in this tray. But I got spare trays. So no worries. Thanks, Leah. Got to love the penguin. Yeah, I'll, I'll try the cold drink out then. So now I'll actually try one. I'll try the minkle and the viral. So I got those two with that. I'll set the menses aside. And if anybody don't want to know the penguin story of why I like penguins, I can tell that. But uh, it's not, it's kind of long. Now, I also got some stuff from Minotaur Training Company. And I do want to talk about some future plans for some winter camping. Because I got some Arctic field rations. I got some RCWs. And I'm also looking for input on more cold weather rations. Because what better way to test a cold weather ration than in a foot of snow, you know, out in the cold, by a fire, or on the trail. I've seen Smitty do it once. He had an awesome review. He did an RCW. Uh, I believe he's hiking on a trail. I uh, really enjoyed that one. And I think Dave's Diversion also did an RCW out in the cold. It was really cool. And that's what inspired me to try and explore those. I want to try all the RCWs and a lot of the Arctic field rations, but I also have a French IRL, which is a mountain ration. Uh, I do want to get a like anything cold weather, like really cold weather, so you can really take it out there and put it in the element and see what it's all about. Check out chat. So it's time to make some food up. I got some stuff. This is actually a spicy sauce that I'll be adding. I got this from Jack of Trades. He also sent me some uh, white flatbread. This is supposed to be better than uh, the wheat snack bread. So I got that for a side. Uh, Fernberg actually sent me, uh, he did send me a brown bag and then this fruit soup. I got some fruit soups from um, CT as well. And funny, this is actually, um, I got this from CT and I only had to, I mean, it's like a, I almost want a t-shirt for it because I got this IMP and all I had to do was go to a CD truck stop. All right, I think I'm back. Hold on. Is it back? Oh, let me refresh. Oh boy, I don't know if I'm back yet, but uh, let's see. What in the world? Okay, hold on.
Okay. So I always wondered what, what uh, ha it happens right around the same time for Old Smoky Streams where he'll lose a signal and it'll go up. I don't know why it does that. And then it goes to the other view and you have to change it back around, but I'm back. All right, so hopefully we don't lose too many people. It's time to get eaten. Jack of Trades, did you do that? Because I seen you come in there and it crashed. I'm not gonna blame you this time. All right, hopefully it don't crash anymore. Sound good? You guys hear me? Everything's good? Okay. Okay, I've got a uh, super weapon here. This is Tracy's Ultimate Spork. And this is perfect for tonight because I can just shovel it in. And it also doubles as a self defense weapon. Thank you, Tracy. Well, yeah, I was talking about some fruit soup. I got this from uh, Fernbark. I don't know if I'll make this because this is quite. Uh, preparation, but uh, this is awesome. If you've never had it, definitely want to try it. So it's time to get set up. So the winner was turkey strips with orange sauce. Let's bust it open. Got some caffeine if I need it. Got my Minotaur tactical spork. Got another tactical spork and the super weapon, Tracy Phillips special. So I have a couple trays just in case. We'll bust one out for right now and start getting count. All right, Let's see if we got a good view. I might turn the camera on accident. It looks like I did. Okay. Everything's getting a little crazy, but that's okay. So the proper way to open this to the top. You see it's nice and packed, nice and uniform. We bust out the main first. So we have our turkey strips, the orange sauce. We do have a IMP or Canadian uh, FRH from CT as well. We got some fruit cocktail. Can't go wrong with that. We got a chunky Kit Kat. Chunky Kit Kat. What's uh what's a chunky Kit Kat? Is that got uh, peanuts in it? Okay, looks like oh wow. We got a raspberry jam. Can't go wrong with the raspberry jam. And this is a 2019. We got the sweet and creamy S Cafe. Also, cannot go wrong with that. We got some cranberry maple trail mix. I've never had that before, so that'd be awesome to check out. And then, I wonder if CT Gate, you know, didn't like this one. Look, it's got two grapes in it. We got uh, peanut butter to go with our. Now, I heard the pronunciation to this is a, a pan bun. Is it P H P A H N pronunciation? Or is it actually just paint? I don't know. Hey, what's up, JW? Welcome to the live stream. Oh, yeah. I'm going to. Chris, I am wondering how many um, we'll ha actually have in there. Okay, hold on. Whoa, check that out. So we got the chocolate drink mix. I think we should make that with the coffee. What do you guys think? We got the old spork. We'd be good. We got some Tabasco. Got some matches. And the Tic Tac. This is my favorite. I actually love these things. These are great. Out in the woods, they're absolutely my favorite. I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to save this for when I go out on my trips. I'm going to use this one, the Mega Compressed Towel. All right. And then on top of that, you got this giant napkin, which I'm going to need because I'm very messy. 
Yeah, I'm excited for cold weather. It's actually warmed back up up here. So it was 32, and I think it was uh, last weekend it was about, I want to say close to 35, 32 outside. It wasn't bad. And then um, today it was like 75. All right, so I don't know if you can actually mix the coffee in here with this, but I'm going to because I want to have the coffee in there. So we'll start mixing stuff up and clean this up. I want to get this warmed in, warming up too, so we'll get that going. And we're going to use the Canadian FRHs. It's just going to get absolutely mad up here. Okay, FRH. So this is the Canadian FRH. Um, as you see, it's larger, and I've heard they work pretty good. Let's see if they work as good as the... Um, FRHs that come in American MREs. I'm not stuck in there. Alright, so we have the it's a Baxter's. Nice setup. Now, I've always been concerned about bloat on these IMP bags. I've actually thrown away a Shepherd's Pie because I thought it had bloat. It did not. I heard CT actually informed me that is how the shepherd's pie is. So don't throw away your shepherd's pie. Yeah, on my um, recent shelter video I was doing the roof, I wanted to do a rain test. Did not want to do it that night. So that kind of foreshadows anything. Yeah, that anytime I made the shepherd's pie, I was like, oh, this is bad. I can't eat this. But I was also new to the oh, MREs. And I was worried about it, but no reason to worry. Now that I've seen true blow, you know what to look for. Okay, you got the fill line. We'll fold it up towards the top. Or give a good rock. Let's see if that works. Set that right there. And I also want to get this going. And I'll try one of these. I don't know if you guys ever try one of these. I believe they come and uh, I've seen them come in Minotaur Training Company. I've seen them come in um, the allmarines.com. The FRH is taken right off. So this one I'm going to try and kind of sandwich. The rice, I don't know if Rare All Time is here, but I was like, hey, what's this supposed to taste like? He's like, I have no idea. And I was like, how are you supposed to cook it? He's also said, I'm not sure. But we're just going to wing it. So I got the Malaysian main rice and it looks like chicken stir fry sandwich in this FRA. We'll give that some water. Or just kind of spill it all over. It's okay. One thing you got to be careful when you sandwich is you actually lose the water. So you kind of want to get the water saturation on the heater element first. This one's going to take off and when it does it's going to burn my hands. This one's really uh, crazy. Hopefully. And I do have my windows open, so never do this in an enclosed area because these fumes are not great for you. And this FRH is not working. Okay. It wants to work, but I don't know if I got enough water. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Ouch. This once this thing takes off, it's just obnoxious. Ouch. Okay. Let's just set that right here. Pain. Pain hamburger. I didn't see if anybody said what's what's the proper pronunciation. Is it 
Payne or Pan? Because I, I don't want to be corrected more than uh, I have to be. I've seen somebody say Payne and they kind of got beat up over it, so. Um. Alright, we got the Cranberry Maple Trail Mix. I don't know. It's got maple. It's got cranberries in there, cashews, pistachios, maybe, pumpkin seeds. Um, caramel color, yeah, shelled sunflower seeds. And he said this chunky Kit Kat's just a big cat cat, huh? There's nothing, no peanuts in it or nothing like that. It's like a dual Kit Kat. You, you can still get a break. All right, uh, now we got the sweet and creamy. We got the chocolate drink mix. Gonna combine them. And one thing that CT taught me, and it works really well, is make sure you add enough water for both the chocolate drink mix and the coffee. If you don't, it will be a little bit sweet or unbalanced. So we'll just add the coffee to that. Okay, so we have. Okay. There's a fill line. And we'll lay down. So I totally messed that up, but it's okay. There we go. Anybody, I've heard of the vanilla chocolate drink, or vanilla drink mixed with the coffee. I've never had the chocolate though. What up, CJ? Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, that's that's my thoughts, Minnie. Thank you. What's going on, CJ? Welcome to the live stream. I'm really glad you put that video out about that new, um, I don't know if you have guys seen it. They made a new setup on how you set up your channel. And I was totally confused, but CJ put out a video that... Uh, explained everything in great detail so if you want to check that out definitely would because i was lost for a second there so we got the dessert mix this is the fruit cocktail this is actually the new packaging um it's like 2019 did uh they change the packaging oh no my back Hopefully I'm not buffering. All right. Now, 2019, 2020, is that they went started going to this packaging, Smitty? The, I think it all went to this color than the main itself. All right, how many cherries? Put up your uh, votes on right now before before uh, I drop it out in the pan. How many cherries are in the fruit cocktail? I didn't even look. I'm going to guess one. Everybody put their votes in, and I'll drop it in there. Okay, we got four. We got two. We got two. Zero. We got one. Eight. All right. CT, what's going on? Five. Okay, I'm dropping it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on. Hold on. Who said half? The winner is half a cherry. If you said one, you went over. Cause I, I actually it's quarter of a cherry. Look at that. Quarter of a cherry, really? Huh. Let's save that. Yeah, that would, that's almost like uh, it's gone. All right, so we're checking the mains out. Still cooking. The pain hamburger. Whoa. Looking good. 
It's actually a little bit stale, but that's okay. Kind of make an open face. Got a lot of stuff cooking up. Get this out of the way. This some spicy sauce I'm going to use on the Malaysian. I got the raspberry jam, vanilla steak is for dessert. I do want to make up this exotic drink. Again, this is German. I don't know if anybody's had this. Heard this is pretty good. This is the menu that um, I had to go to a CD truck stop to get. The turkey strips and orange sauce. And then, look at this. I, I kind of figured this might not one. You said you didn't really like it. Look at that. That's probably why. You got double grape in there. We're not going to have the drink grapes. We're going to have the exotics. I'm going to bust out this peanut butter. Actually, I don't know if this is peanut butter. Is this the jam? Yeah, this is the jam. Make a little uh, peanut butter sandwich. With some raspberry jam. Raspberry is my favorite jam in the IMPs. Is there, is it strawberry, grape, and raspberry? I think that's only three. Okay, I gotta mix. The CT, I took the chocolate drink mix and I mixed it with the coffee. I don't know if you've ever tried that, but I wanna try that. All right, let me get a cup for the exotic. Lots of stuff going on. So this is 400 milliliters. Got a little tear notch on here. Oh man. I've been told this is one of the better isotonic drinks. It smells like pineapple, kinda. So you've seen that? Pineapple and like a uh, Papaya type. It's got 400 milliliters. Got my little measuring cup. It mixes up a lot. Now this is this is where Tracy Phillips Super Utility comes in. Look at that. And power stir it. Bam. Got the towel. Heck yeah, it's a cool spork. It's a weapon, spork. Stir things with maximum capacity. Okay. Everybody still with me? We are making the PBJ. And that's just going to be a kind of a megabyte sandwich because we're throwing some of this um, trail mix in there. Because I don't know if anybody likes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with some crunch, but I do. Bam. All right, so we got an exotic drink. Got our sandwich. Got a Kit Kat. In case we need that, let's check out these mains real quick. So this Malaysian feels like it's pretty warmed up. Rice feels kind of warm. So that was from there all times. This is the, oh wow. Those things were great. This thing's still piping hot. I'm gonna use it for helping that out. So this is the turkey strips and orange sauce. Ready for the plate. Wow, is that uh, turkey strips are pretty, is that dark meat? With the super spork. So the meat is uh, pretty, uh, it's not like your white meat chicken or turkey. It's like, uh, almost like beef. It's like, it's like beef stew. Hey, Rome Young, welcome. So I got the peanut butter jelly with the trail mix on it, got the fruit mix, got this, 
Um, I do have the Tabasco. So I'm going to try this out without the Tabasco first. And this has uh, spirals. And then so the, it says turkey, but it actually looks like a beef stew. Hmm. And very similar to something else I've had before. It almost tastes like... Oh, I can't put my... It's got a sweet orange flavor to it. And it's got... Um, like I said the turkey... I don't know. It tastes like... Uh, it does taste like beef to me. So, that's pretty good. We're going to try the, this is the raspberry uh, peanut butter with trail mix, maple, cranberry. Mm. That's awesome. The bun is a little bit, oh yeah. The church awesome. I love penguins. Wow. Mr. Shocker 71 gave me this. He said this was one of the best isotonic drinks. I 100% agree with him. That is um, a cross between lemon lime zing to it with pineapple, like pipe, uh, papaya, or like a fruit punch. And it really quenched your thirst. Wow. All right, I'm going to eat my quarter cherry. This is the quarter cherry that we got. Mm. Everything's really good so far. I'd say when everybody voted for this, I never thought you guys would be uh, so nice to give me uh, a meal that was not 20 to 30 years old. Hey Jimbo, welcome to the live stream. All right. So who wants to see the Malaysian main? Because I'm I'm a little nervous to be honest. This is the rice, and it's uh it is warm. That's like a little rice bed. It looks like it's sticky rice. There you go, fork. It's pretty rock solid. It just breaks apart. Hmm. Probably should. It's like a brick. And it's very dry. All right, so here's the Malaysian main. It smells like um, like beef stew out of a retort pouch, but it's actually clear. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like clear water in there. We're gonna pour it on the rice. Oh man, I don't know if that's oil or what. Okay. All right. That's the uh, Malaysian. Let's give that a shot. So I don't know if uh, what kind of meat it is. It didn't say, it just says stir fry. Hmm. Ooh. That's got a very distinct flavor. The meat is uh, really gristly, it's almost chewy. Hmm. You see a strong soy sauce, but it has um, a teriyaki flavor to it, too. 
It's really good. Yeah, the meat, like this one, it's like a piece of bubble gum almost. It's like chewy, but I guess that's for flavor, right? Look at that. None of this food will go to waste. None of this food will go to waste. Don't anybody worry about that. It's getting smashed. All right, so we got the maple trail mix. I agree with that 100%. If this had noodles, it'd be way better. But it's just a, it's not a bed of rice. And it's very oily. There's a, I don't know if it's oil or fat, but it's in like the bottom and it's separated from the, the rice. But you need your fats and oils when you're out there. Oh yeah. I got the piece of bubble gum. All right, I do want to try something while this is warm. Okay, so. so we have the spicy sauce. I think this is from a PLA, if I'm not mistaken. Got this from uh, Jack of Trades. Put a little bit on the corner. It's almost like apple butter. It's kind of wicked. So it's like a apple butter almost. Let's try that. Mm. Ooh, very strong vinegar flavor. And uh, it's got some nice uh, heat to it too. That actually enhances the flavor in this quite a bit. Mm. Spicy sauce. All right, everything's turned out so perfect so far. We got the Kit Kat. Now this is supposed to be a regular Kit Kat. Mm. Yep, just a regular Kit Kat. Boom, boom. Now as far as this main, a lot of people say they don't like it. It reminds me of... Uh, this is a more savory... Um, like a takeout dish and this one is like a sweet and sour chicken but has a beef aroni flavor from Chef Boyardee so it's not bad but that turkey strips has nothing like I, I mean they don't they don't remind me of turkey strips mm. Like a sweet barbecue sauce. I'm gonna try some Tabasco real quick. There we go. Just to give that sweet heat. Making a mess. And then we'll try the protein shake, and then we got the brown bag open up. Hmm. Hmm. And the uh, Tabasco really enhances the flavor as well. All right, it's time to see this compressed napkin. We got a lot going on, but making a mess, and this will help. All right. So it says you're supposed to let it sit in water. This thing's massive, but I, like I said, I, got, I always like to field test stuff first. And I got a couple more of these, and I'm going to take them out in the woods and just have them or put them in my pack. So I don't know how much water it's going to take. 
You got it sitting that right there. If I use hot or cold. Mm. All right, everything is uh, pretty awesome so far. Get rid of this. Chris, what was the cake in here that you really wanted me to try? And this is, um, I think this is a 92. Chris actually sent this away. What is this one? I think, is it uh, a maple cake? Holy moly. That thing actually sucked up all the water. This thing is... Okay. Alright, it's actually um, like a kitchen towel. But, the... It's like a dish rag. So, this one is actually smaller than an IMP. So that's good to know. I thought this would be way bigger because of the size it was. I mean, if you looked at the comparison, this one may be a little thinner, but it has more uh, surface area. Okay, maple nut cake. So we're going to dig that out. And like I said, none of this stuff's going to waste. I'm just enjoying it all on my cheat day. We're going to bust this brown bag open. This is the spaghetti and meat sauce. Hey, Wyoming Adventures, welcome. Welcome to live stream. All right, so here we go. We got this brown bag, and it's supposed to have a maple nut cake. Oh, look at that. That's, this is awesome. Look at this bag of M&Ms. And it feel it's perfectly fine. Oh, man, that's going to go on my display, man. I, I, I want to eat those, but in the same token, look how cool that packaging is. It says, official snack of the sponsor, snack food sponsor of the 1992 Olympic Games. And they feel perfectly fine. All right. Uh, Tabasco looks pretty good, too. Doesn't look like it's... Uh, drained out so that actually I mean this ration looks like it held up pretty good all right this is oh there it is that's what you're talking about right there I won't, I'll go ahead and pull everything out just because of like this is the um, spaghetti with meat sauce this is a fantastic main from a brown bag yeah, I can tell this 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 MRE was stored in excellent condition. We got the crackers. They look perfectly fine. Good vacuum seal. Oh man. There's the cheese spread, and it's um uh, I don't want to play that game today. I might still. Wow, look at that. Look at this beverage base powder is actually in uh, like a brown packaging. It's pretty solid. The cheese spread, it has me worried. But, I'm hoping this accessory kit, because I want this Taster's Choice Red. I'm hoping this is good. This is what I absolutely love, one of my favorite coffees. Taster's Choice Red. I want to see if that's any good. I'll have that with my maple nut cake. Let me make some hot water up real quick. All right. Finish off my some of my foods. And I'm still amazed. Look at that. It's such a little small package, but there's no damage to them. And not to see if we should open that. We got our MRE spoon. I'm gonna save that. Make our red. See what this maple nut cake looks like. All right. So we have. Look at how clean that packaging is. 
I really hope this is good. I mean, it's a maple nut cake from 1992. The packaging, no delamination, feels solid. I mean, all this stuff is in great condition, Chris. Thank you so much for sending it. I'm going to be enjoying this. I usually save. Now we will. The cheese spread, it actually is delammed. I'm going to save that to open last to see how that actually held up. It feels fine. But so did the one from the flight feed. And if you open it, it instantly smells up the room. So if you guys want me to try the cheese, I might. Mm. Where's the mother dream sap? There they are. Alright, so this is the cold Malaysian drink. We're going to drink that next. Now, I also got, like I said, it's saving dessert, best dessert for last. You guys want to check that out. So I'm not sure what this drink is, but I also got a hot drink. But I'm going to drink my coffee now. Wow, that smells great. It smells like cranberry. It's a white powder. It smells like cranberry. It says um, 200 cc's. I don't know what that is, so we'll just do like that. Boom. You got the super spin. Got my towelette. We're just all set up. You can put some G's on that stir. Boom. Alright, that tastes like um a very, it almost tastes like black currant. I wonder if that's black currant in there. I wish, uh, I wish I knew. Cause that actually tastes like either cranberry or black currant drink. And I don't know if it's reinforced with vitamins, but it does taste like vitamins too. Definitely using all the spicy sauce. All over the Malaysian too. Yeah, the older powder drinks with uh, like actual sugar. Oh, I got my shake. I'm letting that sit too. I like to let these reconstitute. I gotta stir that up a little bit more. And always make sure you seal these. I was I was outside one time and I was all excited. I'm gonna shake this up. I think it was the first time I had one of these, and I did not seal it, and it exploded all over. I'm gonna do that right now. Now CT, I, I don't think he joined yet, but um, I was talking about taking some big bars, fruit bars, and pop tarts, and actually sealing them away, and in ten years we could. Pull them out of somewhere, out of the um, ration pack, and then enjoy them. Because the new ones, obviously, not aren't any good. But yeah, I could uh, get some strawberry pop tarts or toaster pastries and uh, different flavors, and just shrink wrap them or vacuum pack them and seal them in retort. Yeah, in like 10 years, have awesome treats. And I'll save nut cake and for the next tray. Mmm. Has anybody had that before? Uh, sticky toffee pudding. I think I had one thing like this. I think this is from an ORP. I forget what it was. 
it was an ORP, and it was something I didn't expect to be in a cake. I forgot what it was. It was a ginger. Ginger cake from an ORP, and I thought it was going to be horrible, and it was actually really good. So I'm interested to see what uh, the sticky toffee is going to be all about. So yeah, I think that's like a black currant with um, vitamins infused in it. So this Malaysian meal is actually really good. I'm really happy I got to try it on my cheat day. And this main is awesome. Gunder, you said you wanted to try this? I would recommend it. Yeah, I gotta have an MRI piece. Like I said, this was kind of no holds bars, showing everything and what I do on a cheat day, and then I'll snap back and go back to clean eating for an extended period of time. And that's what I've been doing to sustain my weight loss. And um, it's been working, so I want to stick with it. Let's see if it works. Stick with it. I'm going to go check the hot water. I got my Michael Green Reviews Cup for one of my mugs. Okay. Now, is the coffee any good? I'm not, I got this already. If this coffee's not any good, it's okay. I'll use uh, the hot water for something else. Come on. Moment of truth. What do you guys think? Is the coffee any good? It is. No issues with that coffee. Having this makes having that 92 all the worth it right there. I probably have a 80 to 90% fail rate on the Taster's Choice Red. So thank you very much, Chris. It's very rare that I get to have this coffee. Let me try some by itself. Mm. Very bold, not bitter at all. It's great coffee. I actually won this in, um, I think it's 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And um, I was like, just putting in, I love winning contests. I think that was my first contest one, and he sent me a shirt. This mug, and I got this right here, which I'm not using. I should be using, but I'm not good at using coasters. So there we go. It's a coaster. You need a magnet. All right. Now it's time for maple nut cake. Moment of truth. Are the peanuts or nuts dark? Oh, wait a second. Look how absolutely fresh that looks. That looks perfect. Let's get a let's get a cross section. Wow, this is probably one of the better cakes I've seen in the nine two. Look at the nuts; they look fine. Smells perfect. Here we go. This is a 1992 maple nut cake. Perfectly fine. The walnuts are actually crunchy, like they should be. Perfectly fine. 
It's actually not dry. Oops. It's moist. Very moist. I'm going to try some of the coffee. It's not, it's not oily. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to dip some in the coffee. That's how it's supposed to be eaten. Hmm. So, did this take place? Uh, our maple muffin top must have took this place. Hmm. That's perfectly fine. Excellent MRE. In excellent condition. And so I do want to open these M&Ms, but I want to save those for the collectors. Yeah, I'm extreme. Like, I've done a lot of brown bags. Never had a cake come out edible like this. Typically, the nuts are, like, dark to the point where they're leaving residue on the cake. This one looks fresh, and even the, the most of the walnuts are still clear. Mm. Perfect combination. All right, it's time to see if the shake's ready. I'm gonna buy this. Mm. Thank you. I know. Mm -hmm. We've got another cup. Mentor our drinking mug. Oh, yeah. So this is our chocolate drink mix with the coffee infused. Wow. That's pretty awesome. CT, do you like the American MRE chocolate drink mix protein drink over this, or is it about the same? Because I'm, I like this. I think this is really good. But I'm not sure. I, the chocolate protein drink from American MRE has a little bit of bitterness to it that I kind of enjoy. Yeah, this one this one's really good, but I do I do enjoy the American Mary version. All right, making progress. So I didn't even make that up. Red Chaser's Choice. Got this stuff. Make the spicy peanut butter. If anybody tried the, I know that um, a couple of people have mentioned it, but if you take the cream cheese icing, I actually have another uh, Canadian peanut butter. When you mix them together, you get the same frosting that you do, in my opinion, as I don't know if you Girl Scout cookie peanut butter things or nutter butters. So you can actually take this cream cheese icing, mix it with the peanut butter, and get that. And um, in the contest, Somebody submitted putting this with some cayenne pepper and then some true lime on icing. And it's something I make up on the cheat day just because I enjoy it so much. Now you do is take your cream cheese icing, put it in a little bowl, and you put your peanut butter in there and mix it up and then add the cayenne pepper. Now if you don't like spice, you can uh, leave that out. But if you like spice or, you know, not even a, a lot of spice, it's just enough to give it the flavor change. Oop. Need this stuff quite a bit. And that's one thing in my recent videos, uh, being like, I want to say it was close to 40 degrees out, I had the, I had the um, 
cheese and I got ready to knead it and it was rock solid. And I was like, oh man, not this again. When it gets cold, you got to, um, some people suggested put it in, having it in your, uh, eating your armpits or packing it in somewhere where it's going to keep warm. If not, you're not going to be able to get it out. Um, especially first strike bars. Eating a first strike bar on a cold day, on a warm day, can break your teeth. Is it uh, Canadian Thanksgiving? Today, or is it coming up? So we supply um, customers that are actually in Canada, and they take different days off than us. Come up this weekend, yeah. All right, so once you get your cream cheese icing and your peanut butter, you just kind of mix it up. And you get the icing that, like I said, it comes in uh, Girl Scout cookies and, in my opinion, but it's just like a peanut butter icing. And you can put it on anything. You can put it on oatmeal cookies. You can put it on sugar cookies. And once you get it mixed up, then you just add some, uh, I got some cayenne pepper. And you get that nice little kick to it. And I'm going to add some of that, mix it in, and I'll have it for, I'm going to try something um, in the end with it. But if you have a sweet tooth, this will knock it right down. And that's pretty much it. It smells like peanut butter ice, which it pretty much is probably. But So we got that mixed up. I'm going to finish our Malaysian. And this is really... Uh, Pretty impressive. I'm not sure what year this was, but I, like I said, with the translation, it wasn't even picking up what it was. But all the links, I have a lot of links down below, and I'm trying to add more as I get to, get to them. But Rail, I think it's Rare All Time sent me this. His links down below. He is a awesome reviewer as far as the, having the details like me i'm just having fun doing it i'm trying to learn it but he has really really has his facts straight like smitty when he does reviews he has a lot of information i'm just like stuff's good but yeah just email me my links down there but anybody wants to check out some good channels check out the links below All right, so we got Malaysian, the awesome nut cake. It's going to, it's, it's being a feast. It's perfect. Save the crackers, save the accessory kit. Get this. I just finished some of this stuff off. Oh, yeah. I don't, how, how's, um, oh, you can put cayenne pepper in the cakes? Awesome. I'll suggest, I'll uh, put it in the comments next time. Because, um, just having that little, little spice to it for me really, really does awesome. Mm. But yeah, it's probably the best, one of the better. No, it's probably the best 92 MRE I've ever seen as far as storage. Yeah. If you have not had a gooey butter cake, the link is in the description down below. It's annanallen.com, and they're sold at Park Avenue Coffee. There's 75 different flavors. Hey, what's up, George Adams? Get your first MRE and a Minotaur mystery box. Very nice. Very nice. Have you opened the mystery box up yet? Yeah, when I went in there, I went. I ordered some, uh, and I'll show some of the cakes I got. It was so hard to pick the flavors I wanted, but I packed them, and I ordered it so I'd, I'd have them for my cheat day. So I planned ahead on that. 
You have 75 different flavors. If you can't find a flavor you like, then you don't like cake. Because there is so many different flavors. I got banana split. So I can't wait to show you that. Strawberry. Strawberry is my, one of my favorite fruits in flavors. Mm. Lemon lime beverages are awesome. And also quench your thirst the best, the best in my opinion. All right. But yeah, Shocker 71 hooked me up with a bunch of cool stuff uh, when we met up down in Kentucky. He also did um, a lot of collaboration with Black Dog Bob, Bob Gaskins, and um, on that keto ration, and that keto ration was awesome. I mean, it helped me get to this point because I was, uh, I started at closer, like 30, 30 to 35 days in, I want to cheat, and I try to stay clean, and it, it, as I get closer to that day, British raspberry. Now, CT, I am saving all my truck chocolate protein drinks because I want to do some uh, trading for some of them uh, stuff you got. And I got a vanilla shake that I want to try with um, dessert. And I got some whipped topping. Have you guys tried the whipped topping from Minotaur Trading Company? I have not uh, tried it. And I want to try it today. Mmm. Time to open the cheese? I agree. Mm. All right. Now the cheese is delaminated. However, the ration was really good, really good shape. So here's the cheese. Okay. The cheese is no good. When it smells like that and looks like that, it's uh, this is no good. Now, it's not as bad as the last cheese I had. And we'll try some. So, here we go. I actually don't taste that bad either. It's got a little, little, little kick to it. But anytime I eat it, it's like pins, like a little pins and needles on my tongue. But yeah, it, it definitely, uh, yeah, it's got a little tang to it, a little wing, a little tang. Like ammonia almost. It hits you like, oh, it's not like that. It's like, um, um, Wasabi. It's the same kind of effect. When you eat this, you kind of feel it and, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you got to be careful eating the cheese. Yeah, it's, it, it looks terrible, kind of smells terrible, but it doesn't taste bad. And it's not stinking up my room, but I am not going to eat it. Because I got more stuff to eat. Like I said, it's one of the better looking older cheeses I've had. But, hey Simply Sharon, welcome to live stream. What's up, boy TGS? Never late to the party. I'm having my MRE cheat day and I'm just smashing a bunch of food. Just getting started. All right, where we got? We got the vanilla shake still. Get this cup out of here. Got my hot coffee still. Talk a little bit about plans for the winter time. So I do want to uh, actually go out in the snow, stay in the snow, and try these out. Like I said, the 
I seen Smitty do one of these in the snow. He was on a hike. It was really cool. Dave's a version. And I really want to see how these actually hold up in you know sub-zero temperatures. And this is uh, it's a ration cold weather I actually got from Inky Snoop. Um, so I'm really happy to try that out. And then I want to try some of the Arctic field rations from Minotaur Trading Company out in the cold. I'm talking about you know zero or below. I'm gonna try and hopefully find some temperatures maybe up north. I'm gonna be camping out there and eat these rations, see if they sustain, how how well they work, put them really to the test. You know, that's what what the name says, right? No cold weather or Arctic field rations. Um, I got a French R R I R I L, I believe it is. I think that's for a mountain ration. I got a tactical food pack. Um, that I want to try out and then some other ones and anybody has any suggestions, please email me I'm trying to find cold weather rations to really put to the element because I really enjoy Testing them and kind of seeing how they would work and that you know all the calories you're burning on that trail in the cold I guess you know, it's more dangerous potentially in the cold than it could be in the hot so when I want, really want to test it in the snow Thanks again, Chris. Have a great night. Thanks for sending that me. Uh, that's awesome 92, and I'm going to be enjoying that later. All right. So, let's see if I can clean up my tray real quick. Uh, RCW both A and B. I, I, I got I to gotta find another old one to try that. Um, want to try an older RCW because I made an RCW in house, and that was really cool. But I think it'd be awesome uh, on the, in the cold weather as well, especially the meal portion. We got A and B, and you could take it on like an all day hike and have one for breakfast and one for lunch. I do have a tuna and noodles um, brown bag that I've been wanting to try and I've also been scared of it because I've heard it was bad when it was new. Like people hated the tuna noodles when it was new. Nineteen, nineteen ninety eight. 1998. Mm. I think they replaced LRPs, didn't they? That's where I need uh, Smitty and all their times. All right, we're gonna change our tray. Okay, uh, we don't need to do this. We got quite a mess going, but here's my gooey butter cakes. And then, for that, I did want to show my kind of link to penguins, because everybody sees my penguin emblem, I have a penguin collection. It's just one of the animals I've always liked. And uh, it's linked to this. Now this plate was at the Detroit Zoo uh, in Michigan. And I think I picked this up in 1986 or 87 when I was in kindergarten. I went and seen the uh, penguins at the exhibit. And then I just kind of picked them. And from then on, they were my favorite animal. And, you know, I like to have my Christmas tree owl penguins. There are one things that, you know, if you, have a, if you have a bad day, I could watch a penguin, and it kind of calms my mind. They're chill, literally. And, uh, you know, they slide on their bellies. They like cold weather, and they swim in cold water. So, just kind of cool. I mean, like I said, I got a lot of, a lot of penguins in my collection. When people... Um, no, you like penguins, they always look for, you know, all kinds of like, you know, like foam cases and stuffed animals. People have made uh, penguin statues and um, just all kinds of cool stuff. But that's actually from 1986. 
All right. So we have. I just, you know, there's a lot of other things I've researched and found out. You know, how they stay alive in the cold weather, how they rotate, you know, how they um, take care of the young, just all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, excuse me. CMRM1s, they are just so hard to find. And I know a lot of people, uh, like CT mentioned, they don't like them. All right, so I have the gooey butter cakes. On the left-hand side, I have the double chocolate. The middle is the uh, banana split, and on the right is strawberry. And if you have had not had a gooey butter cake, you have to try it. I'm actually gonna try some of this whipped topping from Minotaur Training Company. Now, Minotaur Training Company also has the Kronos out. It's a 120 hour um, field ration. It has Boreas out, which is, I believe, a 72 hour cold weather. I want to try both those out, especially the cold weather. And then they have all the Arctic field rations. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried the, um, have not tried the whip topping yet, but I want to mix it up real quick. But yeah, all the Arctic field rations are great. I've had great experience with them. I've actually had some of the same menus over. You know a couple times and you because they're so diverse and the elements are so different you can mix them up all right so it says add two ounces of water and we will check it out so we got some whipped topping on Ann and Allen's gooey butter cake 75 different flavors of awesome if you have had and not had one check out the link you gotta pick one up they ship fast, great service. So I was so happy to remember it this time because last time I uh, forgot about it and I didn't order it. And if it doesn't fall on my cheat day, I get worried about it. The, the, the Cronus is 120 hour. It's got 50,000 calories, food, fire, water, shelter, first aid, that, I, I really want to get one just to put in my house. I really do. It's got cans of water in it. And, I mean, there's an Alpha and Omega, and I'm trying to save up for one of them. Because they are, they are 495 I think. But if you use Dub C, you get 10% off. You can cover shipping and take some off, depending on where you live. 42,000 calories. Four hundred eighty-five. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to save up for one of those because I think those would be awesome. So this is close up box shake for thirty seconds. Oh, welcome for MRE. Thanks for stopping by the live stream. Not only another thing, guys. For forum MREs right now, they have uh, first strike rations, whole case for the cheapest I've seen across the internet, and they have cases of MREs as well as singles. Uh, again, the case of our MREs are I think 109 bucks. You're not gonna beat that. Free shipping across all 50 states. So, I mean, you're not gonna beat that price. I've been just checking around. So, for an MRE uh, website, link is down below. Minotaur train comes down below. I like to get my rations from everybody because I like to mix and match. All right. So, whip topping, I might add too much water and keep mixing it. So, we got the whip topping, we try the gooey butter cake, and then I'm a huge fan of peanut butter and jelly, so I do want to try the strawberry, but then I'm going to put some of the spicy peanut butter in there. Um, but yeah, I got some uh, new rations coming out. Now, what you guys just thought on the shelter, when I review a ration, see I got my wall of MREs up here. When I do a ration in a shelter, should I start hanging the, those rations up there? Because I was thinking about, because this one's getting too big. But I was like, you know, in my finished shelter, 
or you know, you'll see this weekend when I do my shots, it's kind of like up against a, a bland wall. And back way back when, Smitty's like, "Man, you should get something on that wall because kind of break it up." And I was thinking about, man, I need to do that. And I was thinking about getting like a hanging there poster with a cap. But then I thought about maybe I should put in the um, the rations I review out there. Hey Jordan, no problem. Thanks, uh, you know, thanks for being support. It's cool to learn. I mean, I learn from everybody in the community. I learn from all kinds of people. I mean, learning new things and talking to me, meet people and having all these friends, it's just great. Yep, pandas. That's another one. That's a great one. Uh, pandas. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I I'd be I'd be at the worst day of work in my life and just so upset and. I'll see a penguin thing on National Geographic, and they're just so chill. And, you know, they're just sliding around. They just chill me out. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Farney Murray. Thank, thanks again for that uh, super chat. Again, guys, if you want first strike rations, cheapest case on the market, I'm telling you right now, go check out foreignmre.com, and then cheapest American uh, MREs I've seen. Free shipping. And they have, they're getting Russian in, they have Norwegian, and they have, uh, uh, I believe they're working on getting other ones in. So watch that website. All right, I think I'm ready on this. I've been shaking it for more than 30 seconds. CT, you said you've had this? Whip topping? All right, I'm going to have to use the peanut butter. So we'll put the peanut butter in this. this I guess I want to make a kind of a peanut butter and jelly. Mmm, so good. All right, so this is the whip topping. Wow, that's great. All right, so here's the here's strawberry bite. <clears throat> oh, that cayenne hit. So the strawberry by itself. Mmm. If you're a fan of natural strawberry flavor, you'll love this. It has like strawberries literally infused in it as far as the flavor. And I can't beat that. Strawberry is definitely one of my favorites, but I've only tried, I think, four or five flavors. Okay, this is a banana split. Now look at that cool pattern on the banana split. I don't know if you guys like banana splits like ice cream. Mmm. I feel like I'm at, you know, that movie, uh, I think it's Willy Wonka, or one of the movies where they eat that candy, and it has all the flavors kind of match in. Banana Split has that element where you're eating it, and you taste the banana, the chocolate, and everything kind of comes really well together. And then this is the double, this is chocolate chocolate, I think. And Marilyn said her favorite flavor is peanut butter chocolate. I definitely want to try that. Mm. Now, it's super good. This is the best cake. Now, I, I'm also, who, I don't know who in the live chat loves the edges on, like brownies, edges on cake or edges on pizza, edges on meatloaf, where it's kind of crunchy. I love the edges on this cake because it's like crunchy exterior so i'll eat around the edges on all the cakes i get but um now we have some whipped topping it doesn't need any of this but like i said i got some whipped topping i wanted to try and i'd uh, probably mix it with too much water hmm that is really good. Whip topping is definitely very impressive. Now here's the, the spicy plant butter. A moment I've been waiting for. So I can make my... Um, and that's one thing. They might have a peanut butter and jelly flavor. I think they do. I was going to get that, I think. 
If they don't, then um, you can kind of make your own like this. But this is the cream cheese icing, peanut butter, and cayenne pepper. Mm. I'm an edge person all day. Man, that's good. It's like a peanut butter and jelly megabyte gooey cake. Mmm. I still have my Taste of Choice Red. Yeah, I'll have to... I, I want to see... I'll talk to you, uh, Marilyn, when I order it next for my next cheat day. i make a, like a peanut butter and jelly and put cayenne in it. It'd be just like I just made. And this is great. Um... I'm all I'm I'm very an edge person. Like if I get a pizza, like a deep dish pizza, I love having edges or crusty lasagna when it's been baked in the oven. It's got the edges, the meatloaf. All that stuff's good. That's one thing about a lot of MRE food, there's no edges because it's kind of like in a retort pouch or you know, you don't have that element. So But these gooey butter cakes are amazing. The icing is amazing. Coffee. Whipped topping. Pour some more of that. There we go. I probably gotta mix it up a little more. Solid fuel store. Yeah, uh, that I do like that, Miss Mini. Like in the cans, like uh, I think it was a Lathian ration or uh, Italian rations. You actually do the heat stoves. And you can get a nice bark layer on the bottom. I don't. I've never got it on the side, but I've got it on the bottom, and you just scrape it off the bottom. Yeah, you don't want to let it burn entirely, but it's nice to get that bark. Hmm. Yeah, I fasted all the way up until I was able to eat. Um, I typically will do that, and I'll fast tomorrow after my cheat day. And I'll fast for approximately uh, 36 hours. And it just kind of resets, and that's one way I'm able to get back into keto so fast is the fasting. So <clears throat> the whole thing about fasting is, you know, there's a lot of things in there and, and you got to kind of do what works for you. And it's hard, but I do fast with, uh, like I'll drink black coffee for uh, appetite suppressant and I, I drink over a gallon of water a day. Hey, Tommy T, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Thanks for stopping by. But yeah, and fasting helps me, like I said, it's just kind of exhaust those glucose stores. And then once you're on keto, for a certain amount of time, your body reacts to carbs like it would to um, fats in reverse. And what I mean by that is when you go on keto, your body starts burning fat for fuel. When you eat carbs, it doesn't recognize it as fuel and you it passes through your body faster and it doesn't do what it used to do. Now that's very short term. It doesn't stay like that. but I'm able to have a cheat meal and get back on keto faster because of it. Uh, oldest MRE. Um, I think I've had a 64, but it was a lifeboat ration. I've had um, a 1982 was my oldest brown bag because I wanted to have one on my uh, birthday. It was sent to me by Viper GTS, and I ate it uh, in celebration of like a Kind of like, I want to have an MRA in your birthday type deal. It was meatballs and barbecue sauce. I've eaten uh, this 92 I just ate today. was from Chris. He sent it in. And um, I ate the maple nut cake. I'm saving the main, which is spaghetti and the crackers. But look at the bag of M&M's. A little package. I'm definitely saving that for display. And this four, it's from the 1992 Olympics. 
Yeah, and, that, and like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people have asked asked me about keto. And one thing I'll suggest is consult your doctor, consult your physician, and if they think it's the right thing for you, then do it. But I don't. I'd also um, don't put, like push keto for you know like low sugar because I, I typically don't eat sugar except for um, cheat days, and it really hypes me up. As you probably noticed, and I get really excited and. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's crazy and got to be careful if it's not right for your body type. Yeah, I know that, um, sugar levels have got to be, um, got to be careful of those. Uh, I do know that keto is good. They have some keto levels for, because it does keep your insulin from spiking and, one thing I, I fought with is, I'm like, why why am I insulin resistant? I think I'm, you know, I'm insulin resistant because I never ate cakes or sweets, but little did I know eating 20 cheeseburgers or three large pizzas turn, all turns into sugar when your body doesn't use it. And that's one thing you don't, I, don't, I never thought about when I was a kid or growing up is I'm not eating sugar, I'm not, eat, I'm not drinking pop, I'm... Why is it, you know, why am I having problems with sugar? But, yeah, I just, all, all the, when I went to the fast food restaurants and all the bread from all that, just, it turns into sugar. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely ready for zero temps. I love cold weather. I'm ready to, I want to go sleep in it. Got everything set up for it. I'm gonna try it out. So I got the axe ready. I don't know if you've seen this CT. I don't know if you want that one. This is the uh, veal cutlet with lemon sauce. Um, see, uh, Smitty had said something about bear claw cookies in here. I'm just glad that cheese isn't. No, they said that, they, yeah, somebody asked me if there's the bear claw cookies were still good. I haven't got to open it yet. Yeah, and, and then low carb, low carb's also nice. Some, like uh, when I get, uh, it, it gets crazy in the holidays, right? So I'm trying to balance life and not have, you know, you go to parties, some parties, and you're like, oh, you know, they have food out and, they feel bad because you're like, well, I'm on keto. I can't eat nothing. And you get creative and like, I'll go to the hot dog, like a grill. And they'll have hot dogs and hamburgers. I'll just eat a couple hot dogs and hamburgers without anything else. And, uh, you know, people feel bad. But sometimes I'll just, I'll bust into and just eat normal to kind of break the comfort. And then um, you, if you're just eating low carb at that point. The bear claw cookies, is that the, what they're called? Are they just a natural uh, like cookie you guys have up there? Yeah, the they put the Ritz crackers just in the um, package, right? They didn't have them in a retort, I think I seen. Yeah, I got the white uh, flatbread. I might save this for a cheeseburger. It's got a cheeseburger meal for Survival Saturday. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by, Jack of Trades. And I seen uh, JW have the nineteen eighty six case, and he had, he tried some of those. And that's uh, the year um, he had a case of those. That was pretty cool. But yeah, I got uh, a cheeseburger. I love cheeseburgers, so I want to have a cheeseburger. Uh, survival Saturday or something like that where I can make cheeseburgers on the wood stove or the grill and then uh, use this bread because most of the time you get MREs they're missing the burger they'll have tortillas and I like to have the burgers but yeah it's it's um it's a fun thing for MREs and a lot of people ask me like why you know what do you like, I don't know if you guys have cheat meals or what you what you like. Hey, Average Joe and Marie, thanks for uh, stopping by. 
the um like people have cheat meals like uh I'm like what's your favorite cheat meal and a lot of people are like oh you know i want i want to go get fast food or like that and i kind of told my story that stuff made me feel sick i can eat all this stuff and none of it makes me feel bad i don't know if it's in my mind or what but like a lot of people are like, oh, I want i want pizza or i want uh takeout i want fast food and um i tried that and it never worked out for me but mras is the way to go for me Here's a, I had the fruit soup you um, sent CT, and this one was actually from Fernberg. This stuff's really good if you haven't had it. This is the fruit soup I think CT was talking about. Now, does anybody know, is this the same fruit soup that's in the RCW? I don't know if it's necessarily this kind, or is this the same design, or is the fruit soup actually chunky? Yeah, JW, I, I am the same way. I just get the urge to, to explore something, something new, check something out. Yeah, I mean, Brian, Brian, it's the thing is, I, I also the same way. I haven't had um, any fast food because of MREs. And I don't pursue fast food because if they say, oh, you know, oh, you're going to have a cheat weekend. What are you going to do? Are you going to go get a grand meal at a restaurant? I'm like, no, I'm going to bust open a 1987 brown bag and eat that. And they're just the looks I get. Kind of surprising. I mean, I guess it's not surprising. And it's all a joke. Like, oh, you eat, you eat old food and all that stuff. It's all about exploring. You never know what you're going to find. Thanks for stopping by, Karen. Have a great night. Hopefully everything goes good for you. Hey, Viper GTS. Welcome to the party. I was just smashing some food. I actually talked about my oldest MRA was from you. Um, it was a 1982 meatballs and barbecue sauce. Say so all links are down below if you guys want to check out some other great reviewers. And the link for gooey butter cakes is down below, as well as all the rations and where I buy them from. I like to support the community because it is an awesome community. The people that make the rations, the people that sell the rations, the people that trade the rations, because I like having a selection. I like having different kinds, I like having resources. nice to bust into an uh, old ration. It's nice to bust into a brand new one. Try something new. I had the gooey butter cake, Viper GTS. It was a banana split, double chocolate, and strawberry. And I made the peanut butter icing with the cayenne pepper. Put it with a strawberry made a peanut butter and jelly. What's up, Mark? Welcome to the party. Oh, um, so crazy thing. I uh, got a 92, a Buses 92 brown bag out. It had the maple nut cake from a 92. Chris actually sent it to me. And it was like brand new. It was perfect. Hey, to, to Carlos. Barry, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. Just smashing some MRE food for my cheat day. And um, yeah, this the, the maple nut cake out of that 92 was perfect. Not, I mean, the walnuts were, didn't, were not even close to rancid. I'm just, uh, we tried, I tried a Malaysian from all rare all times. I had the uh, brown bag and then CT actually got this one from CT when we met up. This is what I had the turkey strips with orange sauce. Really good IMP. I'm very impressed with the flavor. But yeah, I just 
And then uh, Taster's Choice Red, I don't know where that went, but got to have that. Had everything ready to go. It was a feast. Sort of slow down a little bit, but I want to say hi. We're also talking about cheat days. I don't know if anybody else has got a favorite kind of cheat day. I don't know if there's a certain one that really... Uh, Yeah, this one, I recommend this one. It's very good. Turkey strips with orange sauce. Um, hard to really explain the flavor other than like a sweet barbecue with an orange flavor kick. And um, the turkey strips tasted more like beef to me than turkey. Uh, the blue, I should pull out. I don't know where that went. Is that on here somewhere? That is, I don't know if you guys, who likes um, dark chocolate versus milk chocolate? I don't know, there it is. So, I'm personally a dark chocolate fan. But when it comes to, I don't know how to pronounce it. When it comes to this, oh man. Yeah, I might, in the, when I played football, I used to take a dozen donuts and a gallon of chocolate milk and make a bowl of cereal. Uh, that was, um, it was eat it with a wooden spoon, but I like nutty donuts and like the bear claws. And uh, yeah. The, this, I like dark chocolate too, but this is milk chocolate and I like milk chocolate in this brand better because the coffee flavor and the dark chocolate is a little bit overwhelming where it's a little bit more um, le uh, leveled out with the milk chocolate. Oh, you're not rude at all, man. Hey, Adam Erickson. Welcome to the live stream. Um, the German chocolate, like I said, this, this got to be careful with this. This actually has caffeine in it. So they say, I think it's one or two slices is, uh, I think three slices equal to a cup of coffee. And if you have the red kind, that's dark chocolate. The red kind is very bitter and it has a strong coffee flavor. Whereas this has a coffee flavor, but it's milder, it's milder because it's not dark chocolate. But I actually, I, I really enjoyed this brand. And um, there was a couple times where I was driving long drives, like I'm driving to Kentucky um, or other all around. And I'll pop a couple of these because I don't want to have to drink a cup of coffee and then have to stop to use the restroom. So I'll just use this. And another thing I'll use for a caffeine boost, I don't know if you guys know about the um, mocha bars, the first strike bars. They have 100 milligrams of caffeine in them as well. And you get those out of first strike bars. I think you can order them separately from all kinds of uh, places. But I'll eat one of those. And it, again, it's not taking drinking coffee. Because when I'm on the road, I like to be CT. I like to just, just get it done. Just keep going. Just hit that path and hit it hard until you're there. I don't like stopping a lot. But sometimes you got to. Now, Dennis, I, I, I'm boondocking with Dennis. Now, I got to ask a question. Now, I, I'm just going to ask you later, but I'm really excited to do this. Can I stay in a Walmart parking lot in the back of a truck, per se? The reason I ask is I want to travel, but I don't want to stay in hotels, and I don't really want to, st you know, I, I could find a place in St. Land and just camp. Oh, you can you can call ahead of time, okay? Because it's only a couple nights. It's up to the store, okay? Appreciate that. That's why I want to make sure because, like I said, I I got a room to do it, and because I watched you, I kind of got a good plan on how I want to do it. Um, but I also don't want to encounter a spot where I not get any sleep because I'm getting interrupted or whatever. So I will, I will call ahead. Thank you for the tip. But I, I have the same stove as you. 
and I had the same mess kit. So I want I want to do like a boondocking with Dub C, um, but it, it not not out of disrespect, out of, out of all pride and respect, because all the stuff I know how to do is because you like all all the information you have, um, you know, the libraries and all the useful stuff because you know, I think that's really cool. There's like gems and stuff. You able can wash up there and wash your stuff up there. I mean, it's it's expensive. I mean, a couple of reasons. I know the you know people don't like to stay in hotels because of the situation going on right now. But it's also if you're going to stay in one night or two nights, it's like you're talking like three, two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll do because that's I got a few trips I want to go on and I just want to set it up and. Do it like that. I'm only going to stay in a truck stop if you're there, CT, because you know the ropes, and I don't want to get... I want to get caught off guard not knowing the, the lingo or what's going on there. Yeah, I just, I really, uh, I, the boondocking life and camping are very reminiscent and I enjoy both of them. And it's kind of, you have to be very resourceful. You can't have a lot, like you said, you can't have a bunch of stuff laying around. You have to have what you need. And if you don't have a spot for it, you probably don't need it. Rest areas of Mabel. Yeah, I mean, I, um, I started drinking. I know I'll probably get teased for this, but truly, you got the truly the drink. It's a low keto, a low carb drink. But uh, the truly hard lemonade is really good. Oh, say later, Adam. Hopefully everything's okay. Hey, Chris. Welcome live stream. Chris, are you okay? I seen you um, potentially were at, were at the doctor earlier. Hopefully just getting a checkup. Now Tracy, Tracy's awesome people. Tracy and Leah, awesome part of the community. They're always, they're always very generous. I mean, a lot of these MREs right here, up here, the MREs, a lot of the ones I started off with, I started because Tracy was very, helped me out, and this awesome community, like I said, a lot of community members trading with everybody, learning everybody's, you know, family, it's like family, it's like having a second family. Yeah, I, I don't typically drink, but uh, when I do, I, I've been leaning towards truly just because of low carb. Because um, anytime... Anytime I used to drink into the when I was younger, it was usually trouble, so I stay away from it now. Yeah, less is more, but you need to have what you need. That's is exactly it. Same with camping. I mean, I got out there and I uh, forgot the peppers and I couldn't even make stuffed peppers. I felt so silly. But it's already uh, been two hours. I don't want to keep anybody much longer. I appreciate everybody coming by. I had a blast. Thank you for all coming. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody stopping by and giving me support on my cheat day. Now I get to have fun, do some cleanup, and actually, uh, oh yeah, for sure, Mark. We'll hook up. I think we got. I got your number, so I'll definitely, definitely do some trading. I say I'm still finishing up my MRA feast. Yeah, as far as my favorite country of origin for MRE, I tell you, Latvian's probably my favorite right now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sunshine. I appreciate that.
Thank you all for stopping by. I said I don't want to. I want to clean this up for any. I gotta eat some more food and uh, get everything cleaned up. But yeah, li uh, lathium is good. I got a couple of those coming. Um, if anybody wants to trade or contact me, just hit me with an email and um, we can do some trading. I'll try to hook everybody up with what you know something to try. Because my favorite thing is give people things they haven't tried. It's really exciting to see people open up and try food. Yeah, I think the debate's starting. So, so I don't want to keep people too long. Thank you all for, again for stopping by. I appreciate all the super chats from Boondocking. Appreciate the super chat from uh, Sunshine. They both have wonderful channels. Check out the links below. Um, do not miss out. All the links for all the Marisa Baya down below. Always mix it up. Always have a good time. Overnight parking. Okay, I'll call. I'll ask them about that. Again, if you want to trade, just email me or message me via Facebook. Enjoy all the food. Awesome cakes, Marilyn. They're the best. Fantastic. I get to finish all this food up. I think I got to open up. I think I probably, probably got about 7,000 calories, approximately. Yeah, you should, Ruby. Definitely try one out. Try a Lithuanian or a Latvian. They're really um, nice entry foreign rations. All right, I'm going to shut it down. Thanks again, guys. Have a great night. Thank you all for coming.